the world's oldest monumental stone structure. The ornately carved complex of enclosures at Gobekli Tepe seems to have been the focus for huge congregations of Stone Age hunter-gatherer tribes assembling for ritual purposes. It may represent the first step towards an organized religion, shattering the theory that religious behavior came out of later settled societies. For those who believe the teachings of the Old Testament retell a version of human history, the discoveries at Gobekli Tepe are an exciting development. For Adam and Eve, the next step was expulsion from paradise to a life in the fields. Now, researchers believe the rituals celebrated by the people of Gobekli Tepe may have been the trigger for a revolution in their way of living. Dr. Reinder Neef is a specialist in ancient plants. His analysis of the remains preserved at Gobekli Tepe suggests it was the perfect cradle for a seismic shift in human history. The transition to crop farming. Some of the most common plants extracted from the samples were the grass species, or cereals. We have some wild cereals like wild acorn and wild barley. And the interesting thing, of course, is that they belong to the first cereals cultivated ever by a human being. Cultivation simply means seeds are collected and planted. It's a key step towards farming. But einkorn is known to be one of the first species ever domesticated, cultivated often enough to become totally dependent on people. Plant geneticists have matched the domesticated einkorn grown by modern farmers to wild species growing just 20 miles from Gebekli Tepe. It means scientists can be confident the original domestication of einkorn happened somewhere nearby. Compared with modern samples under the microscope, ancient einkorn from Gebekli Tepe still shows the shape of wild varieties. But Dr. Neef believes the process of domestication had already begun. They were probably experimenting with cultivation of cereals. And that is something which you can expect from people who are building such incredible monuments. They were experimenting, and not only with stone, but also with, uh, with plant material. Scientists think Gebekli Tepe was blessed with the perfect grassland environment to begin humanity's experiment with plant cultivation. 